in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my greatest tech haul to date. This is my September 2019 computer pickups video. Today I picked up one of my greatest tech hauls in forever. In fact, I think this is just the greatest tech haul full stop that I've ever picked up. Now I found all of the lot that I got today off a website called Freecycle and it's from one guy. He is amazing. In fact, he knows of my channel, so he might have watched this video. Big shout out to you. You're so helpful. And we've got a lot to get through here, so I'm just going to start off. So I'm actually going to start with some of the smaller items and we'll work with our way up to the more important stuff. So here we've got a bundle of hard drives uh, ranging from 160 gigs, 320 gigs, 500 gigs. Uh, we've even got some two and a half inch drives. This is a 160 gig here. And there is another 500 gig, but I've already arranged for that to be given to someone considering they've just had a hard drive die on them and they need a replacement so you know humble ma humble man Owen here helping the brother out I'm never gonna say that again uh, here's some actually interesting stuff so right here we've got I guess what this is is a little testing kit um, it's a PC analyzer um, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is a power supply tester, actually. Maybe? Uh, it's not entirely clear what this is, but it looks interesting. So, you got this circuit board, you got like a little counter here, I guess. Uh, we'll have to look into that at a later date, but, you know, that's here. It's pretty interesting. It, it looks like it do some fun stuff. I'm going to move this keyboard out of the way so we have more room. There's also this bracket thing, not really important. I think it's must be for mounting a two and a half inch drive in a three and a half inch enclosure. That's my guess. Um, that can come in handy. Uh, you know, we've got a plus net router. Um, quite old. I, they don't use the shape anymore, so my guess is probably early to late 2000s. But yeah, th these are pretty much useless nowadays, so I can just throw this one in the bin. Um, unless someone's in need of a plus net router, but, you know, highly doubt it. Here we've got a nice little socketed CPU. I'm going to rip this open so I don't break the CPU. Really nicely packaged uh, to make sure none of the pins get damaged, which they aren't. And we've got an AMD Phenom. Hmm. Obviously, I don't know what model it is, but it just it's an AMD Phenom, um, and it's a AM2 CPU, so that's interesting. I actually have an AM2 motherboard, which we could throw this into, so that'll be fun to look at. Here we've got a uh, little CPU cooler. Um, it's not actually the one that's on the box, it's just a bog standard, like, 478, I want to say, or AM some sort of socket that's pretty old now uh, so there's that I'm gonna I said I'd start with smaller items but as I've got this right next to me we should just address it so this is a APC backup UPS CS 350 and unfortunately it doesn't work or at least it turns on but all it does is beep and tell you to replace the battery which is unfortunate um, I was really looking forward to using this um, for my NAS actually. Um, yeah, unfortunate. I could find a new battery possibly, but by the looks of it, this thing is pretty old by today's standards. The last inspection date was 2003, so that gives you an idea of the age of this thing. There might be someone on eBay out there who wants a APC to replace the battery, so I can just list it, see what interest I get, but yeah. Here's something interesting, some old BT 2700 HGV routers. So I'm guessing this is what BT would have shipped back in the day. Pretty lightweight actually, surprisingly, for a router. Very cheap though. Um, interestingly, this is a nice metal on the top and bottom of it. Um, and it gives you a nice mesh so you can look through, which is interesting. Uh, we've got an assortment of, oh, this is 
Yeah, we've got an assortment of all power adapters for laptops and in fact these do go with laptops I have got now. So uh, there's quite a lot of um, old router technology and uh, this Linksys Wireless G range expander, which is, oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Um, this interestingly just goes straight into the wall, so it's just a plug on the other end, so yeah, quite cool. I like it. Uh, see if this thing still works actually, it might be interesting to toy around with. And here we have some CPUs. Oh, whoops. So the first one we've got up here is a E5200 uh, Pentium dual core. And then next up we have got some sort of Core 2 Duo. Now the uh, lettering has come off over time, so I can't actually make out what model it is, but it's, it's a Core 2 Duo, I, I know that. Um, so that'll be interesting to look at at a later date. We've got a good old beige floppy drive. These are always fun. It's a Mitsumi model, so yeah, floppy drive, epic. Now I've actually got two of these. These are um, little AD ADSL routers. Um, there's this model, which is the 2600, and there's another one, which is a 2600V which is for VIOP, so obviously enterprises would have used this for um, connecting all their phones together. Not this one specifically, but I'm talking about the other one. Um, so yeah, this is quite old and you can really tell it's quite old because of all the graphics and the fonts and the colours they used. It's this good old um, purple plastic they used. Yeah, <laughs> pretty fun to look at. We've got a cool little basic, <laughs> as it says here, 3D ball mouse um, with a USB plug on the end, so that's pretty handy. Not sure whether this will still work, but yeah, it's here anyway. Uh, so as I was talking about earlier, we have these BT business hub things uh, with the sort of metal on either side. This has still got its box, so that's pretty interesting, but uh, no real use for these in 2019. Um, but we've got them here anyway. We've got even more cables. Um, this is all just sort of assorted SCART cables. This actually looks like a quite nice JVC SCART cable. Um, we've got some USB extenders, uh, Ethernet cables, coaxial cables, um, infrared. Uh, there's even like AUX extensions. That's pretty cool and even more cables, and this interesting card reader, which is actually from Tesco, so it's got this horrible feeling metal. Um, it feels like metal, like it's got the coldness, but it's just eh, matte feeling, horrible. Anyway, yeah, Tesco card reader, uh, it reads all the cards, so yeah, we have this. Here you go, this is the other ADSL router I was talking about, so this is a VIOP edition, so you can connect all your phones, so that's pretty cool. We've got some webcams, so this one is a Logitech and uh, it's only been um, yellowed on half of it, which is interesting. So someone must have had a window on this side of their computer, it's just literally in half yellowed it. That's, love that. 90s and beige, I love it. More to go with the cables, this is actually a really nice aux cable, so this is uh, Ebra. Um, which actually, this is quite new, they still sell these on eBay, brand new, so um, it's a really nice braided cable, blue metal ends, it's nice, it's it's one of the nicest AUX cables I now own. We've got some more webcams, this one being an Advent model, uh, just a basic, you know, thing you could pick up at Tesco's or whatever back in the day, but yeah. And we have a old Plusnet router, which is back in the days when they were not putting their brand name on it at all. They just called them Thompson boxes, and then they'd give you your Plusnet packaging and stuff. So, yeah, interesting. Um, probably ancient, this model. Uh, doesn't look new at all. Here's like a Dell Caddy, which is actually helpful. I, I do need one of these for my... um. Dell Dimension, so got one of those now. More cables, this one being a, you know, good old composite cable. This is like a basic 
I think this is another plus net router actually. Um, yep, plus net. Actually, no. This is a. This is this. This doesn't go with the this router specifically, but yeah, I'm guessing this is plus net. But it doesn't say it, so yeah, I don't know. Might just be a basic router. It does on here. Interestingly, is is labeled faulty, so um, there's no point trying to fix this. It's a crappy old router, which you could probably just bin at this point. And now at this point, we're going to get on to the bigger stuff. Starting off with this power supply, which I actually just pulled out of a computer that I just got. Um, I'll let you guys know what happened with this system um, in a second once we get onto it. So yeah, that's a power supply I pulled out of one of the systems. Here's a uh, nice beefy, actually nice and durable feeling. Uh, Mercury 300 watt power supply and it even says Pentium 4 board support. Oh, love that. Um, very nice. Definitely feels like quality. So we've got this, which is a sort of cheaper 400 watt power supply. It looks like another Pentium 4 model. Uh, this wouldn't trust it at all. Uh, I don't do not like the feeling of this. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty crappy. Um, I'm willing to bet that it doesn't even produce 400 watts. So here we've got a QTEC 400 watt power supply and I've actually had one of these before. I don't remember whether it was, I think mine was a 500 watt but um, I threw it away because it was all dented up and banged up and horrible looking and I didn't trust it. So this is interesting, we've got another one now to the, down to the meat and potatoes of it all. Um, besides um, this DVD drive, but yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with something that's actually quite unfortunate because I was, when I first saw this, looking forward to using it, but it doesn't work. The video chip needs reflowing and the guy was telling me he's reflowed it before, but it just died again. And this is a common issue with this specific model. So this is a HP Pavilion, let's see here. DV9500, so Vista era machine, uh, this one has a AMD Turion 64X2, NVIDIA graphics, so obviously that's the chip that's died, um, but you know this was top of the line back in the day, it's a shame to see it all dead now, but you know, you've got a wide range of ports all the way from, you've got an expansion port in fact, uh, you've got Ethernet, modem, HDMI, that's pretty important, uh, two USBs, uh, Firewire, VGA, and then on the other side, you know, that's about it really for the important ports, but, you know, this was a beastly laptop back in the day and now most of them are at the dump and this is probably where this one will end up too, although I do plan to probably part this out and sell the parts on eBay, so... Yeah, there's that. Next up, we've got quite a new machine, actually. This is a Asus, what model? X54C. So I would put this down to being a Windows 7 or early Windows 8 era machine. Um, nice keyboard, nice widescreen display, scratching it. But yeah, unfortunately with this one, um, it's dead, but the power supply is okay. But yeah, won't turn on. What's interesting to look at though is this power, well, the battery in fact, um, has had quite a bit of scratching done to it, so I don't know what's happened there. And the optical drive's missing its faceplate. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately the, this one doesn't look like it's coming back. Uh, I did have a take, I, have, I did have a look inside, uh, but um, looks like this power button connector got ripped off. Um, but yeah, this is probably no good anymore. Next up, we've got a good Toshita. Oh, Toshiba, sorry, that slipped out. Uh, this is probably a Vista, no, not Vista, XP, sorry, era machine. Um, this is a Satellite Pro A120. And this one does in fact work. I'm 
Not sure whether it has a hard drive in it, but obviously, as you can see here, it does turn on uh, insert system disk and drive. Um, so I don't know whether that means it just doesn't have a OS in it, but yeah, I don't, I don't seem to hear a hard drive, so most likely not. But this is a system that is working, and it does come with its power supply, so yeah. Got a good array of ports back here. You got Ethernet, three USBs, power in in the middle. That's an interesting design. Um, VGA modem. You got these blank cutouts because you know cheap laptops. Gotta love that. Uh, you even had an expansion port. Um, obviously missing its slot though. But yeah, we've got another one. This one is in fact working all one hundred percent. And it's got Linux on it. Um, it is turning on, yes. So this is a Vista era machine. It's got a Celeron M in inside of it. In fact, it's a Celeron M520. Uh, not sure about the amount of RAM, but um, it probably came up there. This is in fact running Zorin. I believe it was yeah Zorin Linux, and this does seem to be working 100%. Not sure about the hard drive capacity. Um, May have to look at that at a later date, but yeah. Oh, that was a good sound. <laughs> uh, so once again, like that other Toshiba, it's got all the ports on the back. Um, power in, modem and Ethernet, two, uh, two USBs and a VGA. And a USB on the side and forks. On to the next laptop, and actually the final laptop. This one, probably my favourite out of the bunch, out of the working bunch that is. Uh, this is a Dell Inspiron 1300, and the reason I love it so much is just these bezels, man. Like, what is going on here? I understand it's probably, like, one of the lower-end ones, but... Wow. This one does, in fact, work. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, battery is dead in it. Um, it doesn't even show, like, needs replacing. It just says battery not found, so it, maybe it needs charging. So now we've got another one of these uh, UPSs. This one has a um, no battery. I can feel there's no battery in here, but yeah. So I'm guessing the old, as I said on the top, uh, the old battery must have died, um, like the one in the other UPS, unfortunately. Um, so yeah. Oh. This one's a heavy. Oh. So this is probably one of the beefier UPSs. So this is a smart UPS 420. Very, very heavy. Even with no battery in it. I'm guessing there's no battery in it because it's very light up this end where the battery would go. So, yeah. Um, once again, probably need to get a new battery for this or just sell it on for someone who wants to work on it. And now we've got this wonderful Sony display. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool 4x3 display. That will come in handy for anything like VGA wise that I need. But in fact, oh, if I turn this big thing around, it's got DVI as well. So this is going to have multiple uses and is very handy. This is a very weird stand, but in, in fact, it does work. It just doesn't work when standing up. And a very interesting design, I like it. It's like you can carry it from this part. Um, but yeah, a wonderful, probably early 2000s Sony display. So now we've got this, a Dell Vostro 200. And I have, in fact, if you guys remember, if I have any of my early viewers on here, may remember that I did in fact have one of these. So I just got up to check that the recording was still going and it said uh, that it stopped automatically or something. So uh, not sure where I got up to with this, but this is a Dell Vostro 200 uh, running a Pentium dual core, um, has some sort of hard drive and some amount of RAM. Uh, not really sure, um, but yeah, I did actually miss my old Vostro. So it's nice to have it back. Um, Although, that one was in slightly better condition when I first got it, the old one. Um, in fact, it was so good condition, it still had the plastic wrap on it. 
like all on the side panel. That was so satisfying to take off. Um, although I probably shouldn't have to preserve its money or whatever people want me to do with it. And now we've got this big old beast. So this, in fact, is a, if I turn it around here, Del Vostro 22. Oh, I did that wrong. Del Vostro 220. Uh, this is running a Pentium. Um, not sure if it's a dual core, just it says Pentium on it. Um, I've already taken a look at inside this one and it's um, actually on the top it says no CPU, no hard drive, but it has got RAM. Um, so yeah, this would be a fun little restoration project and um, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that'll be fun. And now we get on to the real stars of the show. These, or well, this in fact, this is just an i5 4460 machine. Now, as you can see, this one's missing the power supply and it wasn't missing it when I first picked it up, but I opened it up to find a best tech power supply. And even though people are like, oh, there's only specific models like e-machines where the best tech are bad, but I take them out of any machine I come across. Um, but unfortunately, by the sounds of it, I haven't tested this machine yet, but the, the label says dead. And my worry is that the power supply took this motherboard um, and possibly the CPU. Uh, there's no actual signs of anything being blown up, so there's still a potential to test it, but um, by the sounds of it, I don't know whether it's going to be worth it. But yeah, this is a Asus H81M-E. Uh, it's got USB 3, it's got DDR3, it's basically quite a nice board. Um, it's an 1150 socket, obviously, 4th gen. Um, and if it is dead, that's going to be a real shame. Uh, what will be even sadder is if the CPU is dead, but uh, in general, it'd be nice to have this as a little system. So now I guess we can move on to the second one of these that I got. So I actually got another um, i5 4th gen rig. Um, and in fact, that's where that black power supply was from. So what I did was I looked up the specs um, inside the machine and found out that it was in fact an i5-4590. And for those of you who don't know, I was previously running an i5-3470S in my old rig and it was so underpowered and even for a third gen chip, it was surprisingly underpowered and it couldn't run Premiere Pro. Uh, it couldn't render anything, in fact. And it was a shame because I was really looking forward to having a nice rig finally. So at that point, I basically gave up on that machine. But I, in fact, picked this new machine up today. It was a gigabyte board. It had the 4590 inside of it. It had 8 gigs of RAM, which I did upgrade to 16 and it also had a two terabyte Barracuda drive in it, which is insane. I cannot believe that. Um, such a good score with that machine, and it is now, in fact, my new main machine, which is why it's not in front of me here, because it's upstairs in my bedroom. But uh, yeah, this is the most insane haul I've probably ever had. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long-winded. And I hope you did enjoy it. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.